Have you ever wondered what would happen if you divided a fraction by another fraction? In this lesson, you will learn to divide a fraction by a fraction by thinking about equal sized groups. Let's review. You already know that you can divide whole numbers by fractions. In this example, you see the whole number 3 being divided by a fraction 1 half. To find the quotient, I need to determine how many 1 halves are in 3. You can see that there are 6 pieces with a length of 1 half in 3. You also know that you can divide fractions by whole numbers, as seen here. This example shows how a fraction, 1 half, can be divided by a whole number, 3. By dividing the dividend into 3 equal parts and determining the size of the resulting pieces, we can see the quotient is 1 sixth. A common mistake that many people make is to confuse division by a fraction, such as 1 half, with division by a whole number, such as 2. Remember, dividing by 1 half does not mean the same thing as dividing in half. When I divide 1 by 1 half, I'm trying to determine how many 1 halves are in one whole. There are two 1 halves in one whole. When I divide 1 in half, I'm actually dividing by 2. I'm trying to determine the size of the resulting pieces after dividing by 2. The size of the resulting pieces is 1 half. So you can see that 1 divided by 1 half is not the same as 1 divided by 2. Let's try a problem. 1 half divided by 1 fourth. Here our dividend is a fraction, 1 half. The divisor is also a fraction, 1 fourth. In order to solve this problem, I will first represent the dividend 1 half by coloring in 1 half of the whole rectangle. Next, since I will be dividing by 1 fourth, you will notice I have divided the second whole rectangle into four equal parts. The question that I want to answer is how many 1 fourths are there in 1 half? From this rectangular model, I can see that exactly 2 fourths are equivalent to 1 half. So 1 half divided by 1 fourth is 2. Whenever I'm computing with fractions, I always need to ask myself, does this answer even make sense? I will check to see if my answer is reasonable by using the inverse of division, which is multiplication. If I take 1 fourth and multiply it by 2, I can see that two pieces, each a length of 1 fourth, will make 1 half. So yes, my answer does make sense. Here's another problem. 3 fourths divided by 2 eighths. Again, I will begin by shading the portion of the whole rectangle that is my dividend, in this case, 3 fourths. My second whole rectangle has been divided into eighths, but I'm not dividing by 1 eighth, I'm actually dividing by 2 eighths. I need to determine how many sets of 2 eighths are there in 3 fourths. In order to do this, I will fill in the eighths two at a time. 2 eighths, another 2 eighths, and another 2 eighths. Now I can see that there are 1, 2, 3 sets of 2 eighths and 3 fourths. So my quotient is 3. Does this answer make sense? Let's use a multiplication sentence to check our thinking. 3 times 2 eighths, or 3 groups of 2 eighths, is equal to 3 fourths. This picture representation makes it easy to see that 3 groups of 2 eighths is equivalent to 3 fourths. So yes, my answer is reasonable. It's always helpful to represent these solutions as multiplication problems because we can use multiplication to check our division. In the beginning of this lesson, I was wondering about the outcome when a fraction is divided by another fraction. In this lesson, you have learned how to divide a fraction by a fraction by thinking about equal groups.